For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Installing SSL certificate on Nachos Core so that your way is communication is to be secure. So first of all, we need to install the open SSL and mod underscore SSL packages. So in order to generate the certificate request and uh, we are going to generate the certificate as uh, self-signed. So here I'm using the self-signed certificate, but if you want to purchase the certificate, you can still purchase from the external vendor and um, uh, configure it here but it's the similar way so first of all um, I'm just going to generate the key file here open SSL generate RSA gen RSA is uh, the output is going to be a key file dot key and the encryption rate is 2048 bit so now open SSL request the new request I'm generating. So here using the key file. So the key file is key file dot key and the output is going to be a, a certificate dot CSR. Say certificate request form. So now uh, what is the country in two letters you have to write. So India that's why I just write it as IN. and state full state name so which state belongs to so Telangana let's Telangana here and locality name so which city it is Hyderabad and organization name so which organization the certificate is going to be issued to ARKIT Solutions Private Limited and organizational unit name so which unit under the organization it's IT organization and the company common name so what is the common name so basically it's a server name we are going to use it for the uh, common name so not just dot tech dot local so make sure that you enter the correct details and uh, enter the email address if preferred otherwise you can just skip it just end hit enter so it will skip it so do you want to set any challenging password no it enter and then an optional company name if you want to specify no then enter so it generated the certificate request form that is called certificate.csr file so using these files actually we are going to generate the actual certificate here open ssl So it's going to be X509, the new request, and uh, I'm going to specify the days, how many days the certificate should be valid. So triple nine days, how many days you want, you can just specify it. And uh, the certificate request form is certificate.csr, and the sign in key file is key file.key, and the output is going to be a cert.crt. enter now you can see that the certificate has been generated successfully based on the CSR and key file so now copy these files cert.crt to a common location slash etc PKI TLS cert. So is this search is the location. So you have to copy the cert file and you have to copy the key file to the slash etc PKI TLS private keys. So after copying you have to change the permissions. So ch mode uh, group and others. It's going to be read and write execute permissions and provide the certificate path the file path slash etc pkltls search cert dot crt
so again change the private key file permissions as well which is key file dot key now let's edit the configuration file and uh, change these changes okay system ctl restart httpd so in order to check this the file existence and now edit the configuration file vi slash etc httpd conf slash ssl conf d slash ssl dot conf file here we have to change this uh, file location so the file names and file locations so certificate file look for that and you can see here is that so here the file name is not localhost.crt it is uh, cert.crt so just change it again uh, change this private key file as well so which is the key file dot key okay so now save this configuration file now edit the actual configuration file so it is slash etc sttpd conf slash sttpd.conf so in this file you go all the way down by pressing shift D g and here you just have to write some rewrite rule saying that whenever there is a request to the SSL sorry any request to the Nagios or so it should redirect to the HTTPS say that rewrite engine on and rewrite period condition so what I'm saying is that HTTPS of so whatever the HTTPS of again rewrite the rule so whenever any request comes it converts the that request to the HTTPS HTTPS colon colon slash slash and uh, so here I'm specifying that particular URL in a string HTTP host and slash URL so this is whatever the URL we request for the request URL is uh, slash nagios right so that I'm specifying in a variable format that's it and save the configuration file now go back to the httpd.nagios.cfg file in this uncomment ssl required ssl so this is the string you have to uncomment it and save this configuration now let's verify the syntax so whatever we written whether it is the correct syntax or not so restart the okay so let's write some firewall rules here whether we have to allow the HTTPS so firewall if and CMD if and if and permanent at the service HTTPS so firewall is not running because we stopped it in the first installation itself so now let's verify the syntax HTTP if and T will verify the configuration syntax is there any syntax error so service is not restart so it looks good now restart the httpd service so service restarted successfully no errors now let's jump into the browser and access the nagios with https so https slash slash 192.168.29.200 slash nagios so for the first time it will ask you that the SSL certificate not signed properly because it's a local certificate does not identified by the external vendors so now you could able to access the Nagios without any issues you can see that and let's see that what the certificate says here a little bit about the certificate 
information you can see go to the details you can see okay all the details would, looks good so our SSL certificate installation is successful and it is working fine that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below in the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people